everyone, this is Carolise, and today we're going to talk about how to embed designs in Jira. Yes, so how do we embed designs in Jira? So the situation would be, for example, that, you know, you've, you're working with a UX designer or you're yourself coming up with the mockups, and you've written your user stories to be nice and clear and wonderful, all the ways I've told you how to write user stories. And if you want to get a refresher on how to do that, here's a video where I have been talking about writing user stories and the best practices around that. But let's say you have your user stories and you've written them, but the one thing you're really missing is just the picture to go with it, right? You want to show them a mock-up, a screen that will help really, you know, help them understand what to do, okay? So I'm going to jump to my backlog real quick. And this is my test environment. So let's say we took this user story in particular Let's say you wrote the user stories like this and it's all nice and clear, well laid out, everything's good, but you really need that, that, that screenshot to help drive home the ideas that they see what they need to do. And so you go in here, you go to attach and you find your screenshot and you attach it and that's it. Wonderful, great, no problem. But then something changed. Something changed. We can't do this functionality anymore. We have to remove this button. We have to, you know, take something out. And now you got to go back through all of your user stories and update all the, the screenshots, delete the old ones, take new screenshots, update it again. And that's, that's your life, right? That is your life. <laughs> Going back and reworking everything that you already did. So, you know, it can work that way, but wouldn't it be much easier if it updated itself? Right, so that's what we're talking about today, how to embed the designs in Jira so that when there's a change on the design, you don't have to go back and update every story, but the, the system will pull in the latest design for you and save you all that work, right? So you don't have to do that yourself. To do that, you know, to embed designs in Jira, as you can see in my Jira, I have a number of other apps embedded. This is Marvel app. This is Envision. This is Aksha. And the way to do that is you go here and you go to add apps. And it depends on which, you know, which tool your company is using. I've worked with, you know, Zeppelin, Figma, Envision. There's so many very popular tools. Aksha is my favorite by far. Um, and a ton more. So you can just come here. Jira has so many integrations to all of these apps that you can just come here. Let's say you're working with Zeppelin. You go to Zeppelin, you search for that, and there you go. There's Zeppelin. It's free. You can add it. I've already added it. Um, or if you're working with Balsamic, um, you can go in here, search for that, add a Balsamic. So there's just so many tools, and I'm sure more than likely your tool will be available here. You embed it. You, you just find it, add it. You know, click on it. For example, if I were to click on um, Balsamic, then this one does have a cost. And the ones that are free would just say add, but the ones that are not would give you a trial. So based on what your company is using and how willing they are to, you know, how you can make the case for them to spend the money to let you have this, you know, easier way of working, you can make that case to your management. But it would be great if you are able to embed the designs in Jira so you don't have to go back and rework everything. So in my example, I already have a few of them embedded. I have mirror boards, I have Figma, I have all of these other things. So in this case, I'm gonna work with Marvel. So if I click on Marvel for the story, in the case of Marvel, it just needs the URL and many of them are the same, like for Figma it's the URL as well. And I think the same for Aksha, let's see. If I click on Aksha, yeah, you just need to put in the URL. So let's work with Marvel app because typically you wouldn't need all of them at once. You just need one, right? Most companies only need one, you know, design tool. I just have so many because this is my test environment and I do my, you know, mentorship exercises in here with my mentees, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why there's so much here. So let's say we're going to do Marvel. I have this Marvel app that I would have been working on as a project with my mentees. So now I'm here. And I could just go in here and copy the link. It's copied there. And then I can go back to my user story and then I type in the link or paste the link here and say insert prototype. And just like that, it pulls in for me the prototype, right? It pulls in all of the images that's a part of my prototype. As you can see, now I can see my mobile app and I can see all the things I mocked up. 
and I can click on my buttons the way I would do in my regular prototype in Marvel app, okay? So that's great, that's great. So now I have it embedded in my user story. But what happens if something change, right? What if what happens if the product team says, you know, we don't really like these words, you know, we wanna change something, move a button here, change the image here, all that stuff. I don't wanna have to come in here and update it myself. It's just gonna be too much hassle and don't wanna do it. So that's why I'm embedding it, right? This is how to embed designs in Jira. So I would, let's say that the product team and the UX team went in here and they changed something. So let's go in here and change something. And this will serve as a you know, quick tutorial into Marvel app as well. So let's say they don't wanna call it order now, they wanna call it start and order. Okay, cool. Let's save that. Um, and then let's close, make sure it's all updated and everything. Once that's done, I'm gonna go back to my user story and I haven't changed anything. Notice I haven't touched anything, I haven't done anything. I could even come out of this user story just to make sure right? I could come out of it. I'm doing my work in somewhere else and the UX team is over there doing their own thing, changing stuff. The next time I go into this user story, which I'm gonna do right now, and I let's make it big and I scroll down to my embedded designs and I click on it. It should say start an order, right? Because that was what we just changed, right? So when I click on it, I should see start an order, not order now. There you go. Start an order. So I didn't do nothing. As you saw, I didn't touch anything. But the user story is updated, okay? And that's going to save you a ton of time when you embed designs in Jira, as opposed to going through and updating your static screenshots and having to do a bunch of rework, okay? Just, if you can convince your product team or your management to pay to have that app installed in Jira, I, I promise you, it will save you a bunch of time, okay? You will be way more productive and it'll just save you a bunch of frustration because designs change, you know, scope changes, buttons come out, buttons come in, all kinds of stuff happens. So just to confirm that you're not wasting time reworking things, it'll be really good if you are able to embed your designs in Jira as opposed to attach, you know, static screenshots, all right? So if you found this useful, guys, pump up the like button, okay? Pump it, pump it, pump it. And also subscribe to this channel. I need more subscribers. And watch the next video that I'm going to show you now at the end of this, this video. And I hope you have got value from this. And I will see you guys next time. Okay? Take care. Bye.